Okay, it's time for another movie. It's gonna be over here at the Regal, you know. And it's another one of them Studio Ghibli movies. What? There's so many of them happening. So, uh, this one is called The Wind Rises. And, um, I don't know anything about this one. So, I never saw a trailer for it or nothing, so. I'm going in cold, but whenever I, I get back out to the car, I'll tell you what I thought about it. Yeah. I go to the movies. Who would have thought? So, here's my opinions. My opinions don't matter. Your opinions don't matter. What? We just put our opinions on the internet. It's what we do. As a culture. No one knows why we do it, but we can't seem to stop. So, for what it's worth, I am THE Joshua Lukoku, and these are mine. The Wind Rises. This is another Studio Ghibli movie. I'm a bit surprised by this one. This uh, this one, it's not really a kids movie, but it's not like, it's not like violent or sexual or anything like that, really. It's just, a, it's a drama, right? It's like an adult drama. And I, and I wasn't expecting that from, you know, an animated movie. Normally they're either geared for kids or they're like geared for adults but in a way that's supposed to be shocking you know there's not they usually don't just make like a normal drama movie <laughs> that's animated at least that i haven't seen before so that was really interesting to see that so obviously like all these studio ghibli movies it's uh it's amazingly done you know it's a really good uh animation and everything again this one's a lot about planes a lot of <laughs> a, a, an overabundance of these studio ghibli movies are, it's about stuff flying around in the air <laughs> so but this guy this one's interesting because it's like okay so it's like pre-world war ii japan i think is the thing going on but you know they're gearing up gonna start going to war sort of thing but it, it's about this guy who like just wants to make airplanes and he's like he's obsessed with it since he's a little kid he's like he wants to design and build airplanes and so obviously he's gonna end up making them for the government and they're gonna use them for weapons that sort of thing so <laughs> the movie it kind of reminded me of Oppenheimer a little because you know it's like with the Oppenheimer it's like this guy he's just in it for the science you know and they like want to make weapons that's where he just wants to know if they can do it, <laughs> you know, <laughs> and then then it feels bad about it after the fact. So it's kind of like I, I kind of got that feel from that. But a lot of the imagery in this movie is obviously inspired by post World War Two, you know, just seeing the things that happened or the destruction of Japanese cities and stuff like that. So, but it's kind of interesting because it's like the guy. He has these, like, dreams or, like, visions of this, like, really famous aeronautic engineer guy. <laughs> and so it's like he becomes his, like, mentor sort of thing. It's, it's uh, you know, kind of interesting, interesting, you know. It's kind of a, talking about philosophy, of, <laughs> you know, inventing things and, you know, how all the... the what you make always gets used by other people for destruction and, you know. So I thought it was really interesting. But it's kind of like... <laughs> so he has this sort of comedy relief character with a boss, but it ends... The, I get Spoilers, the movie's super old, you know. But <laughs> so, and you think he's going to be a bad guy, but he ends up being like a really good ally to the main character guy, too. And all this is sort of like, you know, that's this guy's life. But there's this, this like subplot where he like helps this girl when he's young, just going to college, you know, and you know, spoilers, you know, they meet back up and they're in love and, you know, all this other sort of stuff. But, and it's just like the movie just ends up being super heartbreaking and dramatic. And it's like. I did not expect it from the cartoon movie, <laughs> you know, but it was well done. 
I, I did feel like it was a little slow, you know, but it's just, you know, of course it's going to be, you know, there's not really many. It doesn't have the, the, the thing that Oppenheimer has where there's this whole thing about they're trying to, like, get rid of Oppenheimer sort of thing. I mean, there is this thing about spies and and stuff like that in the, the Wind Rises movie. But, I don't know. It's just kind of interesting. <laughs> you know, seeing... <laughs> seeing people... Something that was made post-World II, World War II about something, you know, happening before World War II. And, you know, just what, like, a common uh, engineer that wants to build airplanes, you know. I, th I thought I saw it as, like, based on something. It might have been based on a comic book, or it might have been based on a true story. I wasn't, I didn't catch it. But I did see the, the dubbed version of this. So it was in English. But anyway, I mean, it's a really good movie. It's not really for kids, and it's not what you might expect from an, um, an anime for adults, but, I mean, it's a solid movie. So those are my first thoughts and opinions after seeing The Wind Rises. Yeah, I'm throwing those thoughts and opinions up on the Thoughts and Opinions pile. They'll soon be buried by everybody else, as you know. But uh, tell me your thoughts and opinions. Put them in the comment section. You know, like, subscribe, ring the notification bell, all that good stuff. Don't forget to feed your cat. And uh, you kind of just got to accept that if you're going to make uh, really good airplanes, people are going to use them as weapons. It's just how it goes.